today's video. Um, today, we're doing the unboxing of this headset. And with that, cue the intro. Alright, let's go to the second unboxing, the headset. Um, Alright, so I'm going to take this the next look at the next product that we got in today. Um, obviously this is another day, but for me it's the same day. I'm not going to do two products in one video, obviously. So this one has just a little tab to start the opening, so let's get that taken care of. Uh, which you can barely see in my hand. That much bigger of a box, so let's do some adjustment. No, I cannot, but I can move the tripod back. Hold on, folks. Amazing how technology works. Uh, Nate, I got a problem. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to take a look at this headset now. It claims to be the best gaming headset on the market. Um, oh, wait, I got one more tab to deal with. There. Unfortunately, guys, this is the space I have until a nice space change. This is what we got to work with. Alright. I don't know. I have questions about that. I will find... I mean, my Logitech did a terrible job, but it worked to, until it died completely. So that part just comes right off. We've got this lovely box. For the price, I would hope this is a really nice headset and that it works really well. As far as... They got the box printed quite nicely. Got their logo in front and they got these old details on it. I'll Again, I'll give you a nice shot in a minute. I'll shoot a nice shot of it so you guys can see it. Um, I couldn't find anything about this headset online. I tried, I, I tried to find out what the extra box component is and stuff like that, and really got no much pretty quickly. So, all right. Well, taking a look at this, this nice packaging, anyways. Now let's get rid of the, that, <coughs> or not. That set looks pretty decent. Little tabs there. The lightweight. Uh, a little bit on the stiff side. Um, what do you think? Do I look a little silly? <laughs> mm, they block out the noise pretty well. I sound kind of funny. Um, they're, they're not the, I don't know, they're tight is what they are, maybe, yeah, it's not too, too bad, the mic comes out, alright, so we have a, an adjustable mic here, it tucks away in, and supposedly has an LED here, A little bit on the, like I said, they seem stiff. I don't know. Quality wise. A little indicator tab in their case. We'll look at that later when I do the actual review. Alright. Now, this is the part that kind of throws me off is that they have this. It's a controller for it. Does the controller need to be plugged in to, for it to work? It's good. Like, mm -hmm. So you can use the fiber optic cables, USB, power supply. Claims to be a wireless headset though. There's no battery dock. I am so confused. All right, let's keep moving on. I'm sure, there's more in the box. Oh, for the price I paid, uh, that's funny. All right, 
Where's my... Cool. This is fun. Here it is. The packaging looks decent, but for the price I was expecting more like what the GoPro looked like. There we go. Where's the seal? Let's see what we have. We have the manual. Holy crap, look at all the just stuff in there. Alright, well, let's see what we got here. I don't know if you, oh, you just see. So we got the manual. Um, I feel I'm going to need to look at that. So when I do the review, we'll go over all that. There's a ton of cables. So this is a power cable. You can tell by the next cable up that's a USB to micro no not micro to mini okay that's so I'm assuming that goat plugs into the base there now, I don't know what part of this is wireless they have a fiber optic cable for the sound and it keeps going all right so European plug to US how convenient. I don't think I'll be needing that anytime soon. Alright, so that's the battery. Um, that looks pretty small. Alright. What's this? This looks like... The... So adapter for okay. I see. This kind of goes into there. So depending on what plug you are using, I probably won't even use this piece. All right. So there's the US one, which is the one I'll be using if I were to use this. Let's just put that in now. Maybe. Yeah, whatever. I'll fuss with that later. Like I said, I probably won't even use that. More cables. More cables. Claims to be wireless and Bluetooth and all this wonderful stuff. Different European plugs. That's what all that is. Alright, whatever. So it goes to the headset. That goes from the same thing that connects to the headset. Another type of connection to that. Jesus. And another one. One, two, three, four. To go from the base to the headset. Or from an RJ jack to the headset. You don't need to see the rest of that. That's Okay, well, that's interesting. So this is to charge and power your um, uh, charge and power this guy. I'm assuming. So let's take this out. Slide this guy in here. Why is it so? Yeah, I think. So that looks like that goes in and maybe it goes the other way. Yep. So I'm assuming that goes that way. So that battery sits in there. Instructions there. I'm gonna, I'll look at that after. Now, according to this, there's control. You have all these controls here. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at this. Um, sorry for the weird setup thing going on. Why I have to have a mic here? The mic from the headset. I. 
I'm having fun. All right, with that, let's dig into this. Okay. Um, let's start here. This is everything here is what you get. You get a bunch of cables. You get your headset, and you get this lovely little box along with the power block. The block, yeah, I mean brick. You know what I mean. Okay. Um, with that, let's move on to the headset. So obviously you get the headset, which is pretty decent. As you can see, I'm wearing them right here now. So not too bad. And the mic actually does it in stereo, which is nice. And that's kind of convenient. Next thing, they give you a bunch of these tables. They're slightly different and whatnot. They also give you an optical cable here, like this one here. Oh, they give you this one. And they So you have that option as well, which is quite nice. And the fact that they provide you with a cable is kind of convenient. I don't know too many devices nowadays that use optical, but I'm sure there are a few out there, which is kind of nice that you have the option. Um, this is for connecting the computer. That's just a strap USB. And I believe, yeah, that's USB. Here's the box. This is the part where they claim that there's an OLED display, which is right here in the front here is where the OLED display is. It's really nice and easy to read, which is great. Even in the dark, you can read it fairly easily. All right. They provide you with two of these batteries, which is nice. I really appreciate that because you can continue doing what you're doing with a small pause to change the batteries out. Plus side is, in this box right here, they have a place where you can insert the battery and charge it. So we can have one charging while using the other one, which is fantastic. Not... I've never seen any company do that before. All right, and rest are just the standard cables. As Here's your power cable for the box. So that can go into any standard USB, 5-volt USB char power source. I have mine going to a power strip, so I'm not even using the, the brick that they provide. All right, we don't care about any of that. But if you are traveling or you're in a country and you're going to use their power brick, they give you the op a few different options of to utilize here, which is nice. Um, personally, I'd be using the United States one, obviously, but you get a few European ones, which is really convenient. And as far as the back goes, they provide with an auxiliary in and out, your DC power, your USB to go to the computer, and your optical which is really nice and very rare do I see optical option options around nowadays, especially one that has an in and out. All right, with that, I'm very thrilled about that. And with fuck I'm talking about anyways. Oh, whatever. Hey guys, you know what to do with that subscribe button? To do uh, hit that button because next week I will try to get this review out.